Hey, how's it going? Hey, how's it going, man? How's it going? Not bad. Yeah, let's go. So, what's new? Alright, well, you know, just partying and, you know, have a good time, I guess. How about you? Oh, sweet. I've uh, just been taking up a career in reading. Oh, good, good. I mean, my cousin has been acting a little weird lately. Really? How so? I don't know, he's just been acting kind of weird lately. Huh. Tell me, has he experienced any of these symptoms for longer than a two-week period within the past month? Social withdrawal, paranoia, hostility or suspiciousness, deterioration of personal hygiene, flat expressionless gaze, inability to cry or express joy, inappropriate laughter or crying, depression, oversleeping and insomnia, and irrational statements. Yeah, you know, now that you say it, he has been experiencing some of those symptoms. Oh, uh, dude, you're, I'm sorry, but it's, I, think yeah, I, I think your uh, cousin might have <clears throat> schizophrenia. So I've heard what schizophrenia, like the name is, but I'm not really sure, um, you know, like what exactly it is, you know? Oh, well, that's easy. Well, you see, schizophrenia is usually characterized by delusions, hallucinations, disorganized speech and behavior, as well as other symptoms that cause social or occupational dysfunction. For a diagnosis, symptoms must have been present for at least six months and include at least one month of active symptoms. Hmm. Okay. I guess that makes sense. To put it very basically, a con um, schizophrenia, in short, is really just a condition that makes it difficult for people to differentiate between what's real and isn't real, and interferes with the person's ability to function in a healthy way. Wow. So how can anyone get that way? Are there, like, causes or something? Oh yeah, for sure, there are definitely some causes. But I'll explain it while we're lighting some candles. Okay. So some nice candles you got here. Yeah, I know. Really pretty. Yeah, I agree. <clears throat> okay, so causes. Okay. You see, a couple of factors that come into play involve uh, your genes, so your, your genetics, and the environment you live in. Okay. Um, the schizophrenia it can run in the family, but. It um, only occurs in about 10% of people who have a first-degree relative who have it, such as a brother, a sister, or a mother, okay. and the risk runs even higher for people who have identical twins, who um, have a 45-60% to 60 chance of contracting it. Mm. Okay. Another factor includes problem with natural occurring brain chemicals uh, called a dopamine glutamate, and in it, neurotransmitting studies show differences in brain structures and central nervous systems with people who have schizophrenia and people without schizophrenia. And what the scientists found was different images among the two groups of people. And scientists aren't exactly sure if these changes exactly mean anything, but it points in the direction that schizophrenia is actually a brain disease. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. So, um, this thing sounds pretty dangerous. Are there any like, treatments that can help and you know, make it better? Well, yeah, for sure. Well, yeah. you see, antipsychotic medications are the most commonly prescribed drugs to treat schizophrenia. They're thought to control symptoms by affecting the brain's neurotransmitters, dopamine, and serotonin. Okay. What are these, you may ask? What are these? Oh, well, you see, there's um, it includes individual therapy, it includes social skills training, which um, hones in on a person's ability to be socially interactive, and involves family therapy, obviously involving your whole family. It's a lot of therapy. It is. Wow. It's, uh, the, the treatment is um, very complicated, and it's um, most people with schizophrenia are often reluctant to uh, go through the sort of therapy. Yeah, that makes sense. Sounds like a lot. Yeah. So what about like anything about like like everyone? Like how common is it? You know what I mean? Well, schizophrenia. It's um, initially it's not ultra rare. Rare. It only affects about one percent of the global population, which would be about seventy-two million people. So that's still a lot of people. It's I mean, a, a, a lot of people. Imagine taking the entire city of Hong Kong, China, multiplied by 10. That's a lot. That's it's a big city. That's an enormous amount. Yeah. So I've heard that um, schizophrenia is kind of all about, you know, hallucinating and having like multiple personalities. And well, stuff. actually, let me uh, stop you there. Uh, you see, the hallucinations part is true. That's uh, most common with people with schizophrenia, having a hard time um, differentiating between what's real and isn't real and hearing or seeing things that isn't real, but it's an enormous misconception about most people. 
personality disorder. Schizophrenia has absolutely nothing to do at all with having multiple personalities. This myth okay. may have gotten its origin because the term sch schizophrenia literally means split mind. Oh. Because the condition is marked by thoughts and behaviors that are out of sync with a person's surroundings and their situations. Mm. The mind is split with the reality, not with itself. I get it. Do you? I get it. Alright, man, well, uh... I gotta head out. You know, I should probably get started on that, uh, you know, therapy or something, if that's what's the matter. Well, yeah, so I assure you that with the right treatment and therapy involving different kinds of medications and familial assistance, I'm sure your cousin will be just right. fine. Awesome. Thanks so much. High Dude. five. Oh. Woo! Alright. Good seeing you, man. Adios. Farewell. Thank God.